Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here, and this is the one you guys have all been waiting for. It's the 5.0.1 firmware untethered jailbreak. Uh, devices supported are as follows, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, GSM, CDMA, iPod Touch 3rd Gen, iPod Touch 4th Gen, and iPad 1. The A5 chip devices are in the works, and they will be to follow, but for now, those are the devices supported. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak fresh and also how to run over the top of a tethered jailbreak turning it of course into an untethered jailbreak so today I'm going to use my iPod Touch 4th gen freshly restored to 5.0.1 firmware which I'll just show you quickly there you can see 5.0.1 and freshly restored okay so the download for the new redstone 0.9.10 beta 1 is in the bottom bar and all we need to do is once we've downloaded it open up the file I want you to right click on the exe file and go to properties compatibility and make sure that it is checked to run with Windows XP make sure that box is ticked click apply and OK and then we're ready to go so we can go into the red snow file and it is as it was before the interface uh, we don't need to worry about the extras we just need to worry about the jailbreak button and of course as soon as you hit that it goes straight to putting your device into DFU mode so I'm just going to put the camera down and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing so we want to click next and it's going to prompt you to hold the power button and home button down for 10 seconds release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button okay and when we reach this midway point we want to make sure that you want to make sure that the box for Cydia is ticked and if you want the battery percentages you can I don't need that uh, multitasking gestures you can have that checked and then when you're ready you can click next now if you were to run this over the top of a tethered uh, jailbreak device you do not need to have Cydia installed you want to uncheck the Cydia at this point if you are running this over the top of a tethered jailbroken device okay but since this is fresh I'm keeping install Cydia ticked so click next okay guys so once we hit the dock screen of course we now have Cydia so I'm just going to quickly open that and we can see that loading up so I guess the easiest way to test that this is an untethered jailbreak is to switch it off and then back on again
Right, let's just quickly run the city. There we go. Just do that again because it flinched the first time. There we go, so we're untethered. Again, the fundamental difference is between running this over the top of a tethered jailbreak and a fresh is at the midway point. If you are tethered, then you don't need to check the box where it says Cydia. If you're fresh, like I just did, then of course you do need to check the box with Cydia. So guys, thanks for watching. It's your boy D7 as always. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you want, you can also come and follow me on Twitter for any help or extra news. Um, I appreciate you coming over there and uh, giving me a follow. So guys, see you soon.